Hey, how's it going? Today we'll actually be making a simple remote switch uh, DIY. There are many versions out there of the simplest remote switch, but this one I like because it's compact. I only have to use one box. Um, the key to that is this outlet and uh, switch. And then we'll be actually using a 14 gauge cord, power cord and end right here, a knockout um, cable clamp, box cover and our tools this is actually sjo uh, power cord you can uh, buy it at a hardware store or if you have a decapitated cord um, mine's uh, got hit a couple of times with the edger unfortunately actually not the same cord actually twice uh, two different cords through my time of those cords but anyways um, first we'll actually be going over the switch um, it's a combo. It This doesn't have to um, turn this outlet on and off. This actually can turn on something else, like another light or something, and then this is the outlet for its place. But I'm going to use it so this controls the outlet. Uh, key here is this is 15 amps outlet. So make sure you're using a 14 gauge power cord. You can use a 12 gauge too, um, but don't go like 16 gauge unless you don't care about using 15 amps on the outlet, uh, you can use a 16 gauge power cord, like a um, orange extension cord. So first we'll actually knock this out. Pull this apart. Okay, that's done. And we'll put this, uh, Put this in, screw this on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. Unscrew this knockout so you can run the power cord through it. All right, that is completed. Now we wanna take one end of the power cord and strip it down for the outlet. All right, there we go. Now let's twist these together. All the little pieces in here. Stranded power cord. All right, now let's run this through. Give us some slack first so we can get this outlet on together. All right, now actually you have to um, cut a piece of cord off uh, to use as a jumper. So I did that. Actually, I had another piece from another cord, so I cut that off. All right, bend those in because this doesn't have... Um, some have a hole where you can push the wire, but this one does not. But anyways, on the right-hand side of this is where we want to hook up the power or the jumper. So let's screw this on. It's probably too long, but that'll be okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Hard to maneuver. This is actually uh, not stranded wire, so it's a little bit stiffer. There we go. Got it. All right. There we go. There's our jumper. Push that to the side a little bit. All right. Next, we're gonna put the neutral on. All right, there we go. Screw this on like so, screw it in.
Okay. Next, we'll do the power, which the power goes on the left side of the switch. So we'll do that. And then what happens is it's power goes through this from the out power source, which will be this end, goes in, comes out, goes back into the outlet, and the neutral goes down there. So. go hey that's on now we can tighten this clamp around the power cord That way, when you pull on it, it won't pull away from the outlet, which can be a fire hazard or electrical hazard. No one likes to be shocked. All right, that's on. Put the cover on. Okay, that's on. Done with that, now we gotta do the end. This is the cheapest end that I can find because I didn't wanna spend a whole bunch of money. Unfortunately, there's a lot of pieces to this cheap thing, but it'll work. So let's undo this part, the front. All right, here's the pieces. cord through, plug, always put extra so that way you have room to play with, tying them. match and the screws are gonna go back in all right tie in this where that core don't pop out like it did or at least the grommet popped out All right, and it's assembled finally. Box done, power in done. All right, now let's test this. All right guys, I have a light here. I'm gonna test it, now let's plug it in. All right, lights off, and lights on, perfect. Easy as that. We got uh, one box, switch, outlet, and a plug. Now you can be portable with your outlet if you would need to plug in a light to go over one of your tools or workspace and you wanna switch, you got your switch right here. Easy as that. Thanks guys for watching. Please hit that like button. If you have any other ideas on how to make one of these, please let me know in the comments below. And please hit that subscribe button and more projects, including my pinball machine is coming back to life and other things. So keep an eye for those videos. Thanks, guys.